Hey what's up guys, it's Zombie and welcome back again to Awesome Minecraft video and today guys we're we'll gonna be playing on the Pennywise seed in Minecraft because today guys we're going to be summoning Pennywise at 3 a.m. And, um, you know, we're gonna fight him at 3am and it's gonna be pretty scary and awesome and all of that stuff. So guys, before this video begins, make sure you guys do me a favor and leave a like on today's video. You guys got three seconds to like. Three, two, one, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, what is your guys' favorite horror movie of all time? Let me know down below in the comments, guys. What is your favorite horror movie of all time? Because obviously... Um, Pennywise is one of my favorite horror movies, um, well, obviously it's not called Pennywise, it's called It. So, uh, leave a like, guys, if you guys are a fan of the Pennywise movies. But yeah, guys, so you heard me right, in today's video we're going to actually summon in Pennywise at 3 a.m. Now, obviously it's not 3 a.m. at the moment, but, 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 we do have time to prepare for it, actually. I think I have daytime always on, so let me do game rule, do daylight cycle false. So that way it, um, wait, no, we gotta make it true. So that way it actually makes it, you know, nighttime, because we, we can't just have it always be daytime, you know? Because, you know, if we're summoning Pennywise at 3 a.m., it should be 3 a.m. So, yeah, what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna get some stuff to fight Mr. Pennywise. We're gonna get some like materials, some items, some stuff to make our life just pretty much easier. Because um, obviously we can't fight Pennywise if we're going in the way that we are right now. Because we got nothing. And look at that, guys. Look at that. We have iron to start it off with. I'm definitely gonna need to get that iron. So kind of kind of lucky that we start out already with some iron. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, not expecting that in the slightest. So yes, guys, I do have the Pennywise mod installed, so we are going to be actually fighting uh, Pennywise from the Pennywise mod. So it's going to be uh, a very interesting battle, to say the least, against the clown, against Mr. Pennywise, because he is uh, going to be... How, how should I put this? He's going to be, um, what, what's, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Mr. Pennywise is pretty much going to be... A, um, uh, uh, defeated. That's the word. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of something clever, but nothing, nothing clever came out of my mouth. So I just kind of wanted to end it while it was there. But yeah, oh my gosh, it's so dark in here. Can it, can we get like, you know, a light or something? Like, for real. Alright, well let's get out of here. Let's get that. And let's, let's go see if we could find like a mountain or something. Because I'm pretty sure if we find like a mountain... We could probably find, like, iron that's just, like, chilling. So, let's go on the top here and look around for a mountain. Because we probably won't beat Pennywise if we just fight him with an iron sword. So, it might be worth our time to find, like, armor and stuff like that. And, oh, speak of the devil, I found a village. But I don't think villages are as good as they used to be, though. So, I don't know if we're going to find anything that might be useful to fight Pennywise, but... Yo, imagine if we fought Pennywise, like, in the village. That would be kind of messed up. Um, there's food here, though. I mean, there's that, but there's potatoes. Who cares about potatoes, bro? They're just potatoes. There's beets over that way, but like I said earlier, who cares about beets? They're just beets. Give me real food, like, like, actual food. Like, I would appreciate that a lot more than flipping whatever the heck we're getting. We're getting, like, nothing, bro crazy what's the villager doing all the way over there that's a little freaky i'm not gonna lie the villagers like way outside the village uh, i don't think that's very safe i don't think it's safe for them to go outside the village especially if we're gonna summon in pennywise they better come back because then they're gonna end up dying so hey villagers you guys probably shouldn't go too far away <laughs> there's a murderous clown that's about to appear pretty soon uh we got some maps up here but we don't really need maps now do we I just, I want to find, like, okay, okay, here, here, I think this is it. I think this is what we need. Also, let's get that coal, because that's going to come useful. So let's get this coal. Uh, yes, Pennywise, bro, you are, you are not going to win. You are not going to win after we get all this stuff. Alrighty, mateys. I don't know why I said mateys, but alrighty, mateys. We're going to get, um, iron. So here we go. We got some iron over here. Maybe there's some more this way. The more iron, the better. So, let's maybe make some torches. We need sticks. Okay, now let's make some torches. 
All right, let's see if we can find some iron down here. Hello, iron. Where are you? Um, I don't see any. I just see a bunch of coal, but that's it. Yeah, I don't see any iron down here. It's just literally just like a bunch of coal. Eh! So annoying. I just wanted iron, bruh. Okay, fine. Whatever. That's whatever. Let, let's uh, let's keep looking around and maybe we could find more. Other than that, I don't know what to say because, yeah. Bruh, I just want iron. Cow, move out of the way. Okay, I just want iron. I don't care about anything else. I just want iron. Is that too much to ask for? Is that too much for me to ask for? I, I'm just saying, bro. Is is that too much for uh, a, a for me for for a zombie to ask for? Okay, you know what? I think we're good with what we got here. We better start smelting because it's gonna be nighttime by the time uh, everything's all ready. And I do want to build like a little fort that way, Mr. Pennywise can't just like instantly eat us alive. So. You see, guys, I'm thinking of the whole master plan. Okay, you can see, you can see Pennywise's face. I'm thinking about the whole plan. You know what I mean? So, um, let's do this. Let's cover this up, so that way we have like a little safety area. That way, Pennywise can't just like come in and like eat us. Um, where's a door? We need a door. We need a door. What the flip? Where's the doors at? Okay, here's the door. I was like, I didn't see no door. <laughs> okay, um, and we'll put that there. That way we, we can jump out. Because I know exactly where I'm going to spawn in Pennywise. We're going to spawn him in over here. So let me set my spawn point. That way um, we don't get lost or anything. Let's get some of our iron. It looks like we're just going to have enough to make a um, to make a sword. Which is okay. That's fine. Let's also make sure that mobs don't spawn. Game roll. Do do mob spawn. Let's turn that off because we don't want to fight all other mobs, you know Boom no more mobs can spawn. Okay, we made it so that only mr. Pennywise Can spawn okay, so let's make the iron sword Let's make two iron swords. What's dual wield even though I don't think you can do that in bedrock edition Dang it. I can't dual wield. Okay, whatever. It doesn't even matter. All right. It doesn't even matter Let's put the torches down put that there and um yeah this should be good i think we're good to go so to summon in pennywise with the pennywise mod guys here is what we're gonna need to do first thing first let's kill the pig because i don't like him and then now that we have his meat let's put that away so to summon in pennywise what we need to do is we need to give ourselves a um iron blocks so we need to give ourselves four of these and then we also need to give ourselves a pumpkin. So, um, I believe it is the carved pumpkin that we need. So now that we have these five items, now that we have, well, technically two, but you get the point. Now that we have these items, uh, what we have to do, guys, is we actually need to make, like, an iron golem, like normal. So, like, just a normal iron golem, but instead of an iron golem, it is going to be Pennywise. And, oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Ah! He, he won't, dude. Dude, I don't think I can beat him without armor. Dude. Oh my gosh, guys, Pennywise is powerful. Look at that. I think he just instantly knocked me out right there. I think he just instantly... Yeah, look at that. He's crazy powerful. Yeah, so guys, you definitely don't want to mess around with the clown because the clown ain't playing. The clown ain't playing, guys. He's out for blood. Like, I like actually, though, like he's out for blood. Okay, come on. Back off, sir. Sir. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh, this guy needs to chill. This, buddy, you need... Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we should get some armor. I don't really want to cheat, though. Wait, I have an idea. I have a way that we could probably beat him without cheating. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to trap Pennywise. So, Pennywise, I need you to go in here. Come on. Come on, get in there. Hey, guys, we got him! We got Pennywise! He's still... He still killed me, though, but we got him in the trap that we wanted him to be in. So now what we can do, guys, is we can just swing at him like this. And I don't think there's anything Mr. Pennywise can do to actually stop us. I actually think that um, we're pretty much safe as long as we keep doing this. So that's what we keep on doing. I'm going to keep on hitting him like this. Yo, Pennywise is not like this in the slightest. Bro, you are 
You're dying, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Pennywise, but it was it was bound to happen. All right. It was bound to happen. You're, you're gonna have to die, buddy. So yeah, when you kill Pennywise, as you guys can see right here, he drops, um, he drops up, you know, some pumpkins and some cake. So it's honestly not really worth killing Pennywise because he kind of drops nothing good. But it is what it is. I'm gonna <laughs> fix the hole we made in the ground with the pumpkins. I'm gonna fix it with pumpkins. There we go. I could have fixed it with dirt, but no, we're using pumpkins today, boys. Okay, guys. Well, um, we did what we had to do today. We fought Pennywise at 3 a.m. And we had a pretty good time doing it, too. Um, I think I think I did a pretty good job, at least. Especially because I outsmarted him, and I have no armor. So I definitely did a good job. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. And I'll see you all next video. Have a great day, and as always, peace out. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Zombie, and welcome back again to our awesome Minecraft video, guys. And the SCP mod has been updated yet again. So, guys, before the video begins, make sure you guys do me a favor and leave a like on today's video. You guys got three seconds to leave a like. Three, two, one, and leave a comment in the comment section down below right now, guys, leave a comment to... Don't leave a comment section. Just just leave a comment. What is your guys' favorite SCP of all time? So, yeah, guys. So, yeah. So, the mod has been updated yet again. It adds in some new SCPs into your Minecraft world, and it is pretty darn awesome. I'm super excited to go over the SCP mod by Bendy the Demon. It's, it, you know, it, it's pretty flipping cool. So, um, anyways, so let's look at the spawn eggs. So we have a lot of new SCP here. Um, now I want to go, I'm going into this blind, um, for the most part. I know what some of these do, but I kind of want to just like look at some of these for like the first time and be like, whoa, what the flip is that? So yeah, that's pretty much what is, uh, going to be happening here. So where'd the SPs begin? Okay, so they begin over here. Now some of these we already obviously spawned in in the past because obviously this is an update. So, uh, this is SCP-999, which is my favorite little guy. He's so cute and he looks a little more translucent than before. He's so adorable though. Oh my gosh, I love him. SCP-999 is literally the cutest thing ever. It's it's the cutest SCP and no one, and I mean absolutely no one can tell me otherwise because that thing is just adorable. I love it. It's like literally like a, an orange blue, not blue, an orange round, you know, ball of pure goodness. Uh, then we have SCP-811, which is the Swamp Woman. So, uh, there she is. She's, uh, a woman from the swamp. Uh, then we have the female, uh, the female nine-tailed fox, which is a nine-tailed fox member, but it's a girl! Um, which, you know, I don't think was in the mob before. I think there's only guys. So, now we have the girl version of the, uh, of the nine-tailed fox. So, yeah, female nine-tailed fox. Then we have the, uh, SCP-939, which is the with many voices and oh my gosh, you're killing the nine tail fox. Why aren't you girls shooting? Shoot quicker. I have the gun now. It's empty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, the thing just killed literally all of them. It's killing the chicken now. Dude, you have you are, you have some hunger issues, bro. Oh my gosh. Look at all these dead bodies just on the ground. Oh, that's horrible. Then we have SCP-682. Uh, it actually says arm. So, oh my gosh. What the heck? What is SCP-682? Oh my gosh, that thing is giant! Is it always there, or is it like a one-time thing? Holy cow! Oh, this is SCP-682! Okay, what the heck? Bro, what's with the arms? Does it like summon them or something? That's so weird! Oh my gosh, I love this thing! <laughs> it's so cute! It's sitting! It's so cute! Um, then we have a mole rat, which, um, you know, is, is, is like a guard with a gun, which is pretty cool. We have SCP-458, the never-ending pizza box. You can get your pizza forever. Looks like SCP wants some too, but I'm gonna eat it right in front of its face. You can't have any, buddy. You gotta have to fight that mole rat. And then we have SCP-3199, which is 
that guy who just instantly got shot. Look at that. They just, they instantly get shot to death. That person's dead. Did it lay an egg? Oh, it didn't even lay an egg. That is actually kind of surprising that it did not leave an egg. I, I'm actually a little shocked by that. So then we have some more SCPs here. So let's take a look at some of these guys. I want to look at some of the new ones too. I want to look at some of the new ones and not just like updates. So we have uh, the female guard zombie. So this is the female guard, but as a zombie. This is SCP-303, which disappears like instantly. Um, okay. Let me just make it daytime. Is this the guy that you can only see with night vision goggles? Because we could probably get those. So let's get night no we, we can't okay okay never mind maybe maybe it's an item give zombie smt night or goggles how about just goggles? okay no i i guess he, i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about ignore what i just said um scp 049 this is scp 049 which he has received a really awesome uh update to his model like that looks actually pretty darn sick i'm not even gonna lie um but yeah he looks pretty cool He's about to fight the, um, the mole rat. He can actually launch things now. Look at that. That's crazy. That's actually kind of scary. Uh, then we have SCP-250, which is the dinosaur! Oh my gosh! It's literally, this SCP is literally just like a giant dinosaur bone, and it's so awesome, and it's sleeping! Oh, I love how they just sit down sometimes. It's so cute. It's so cute. Even though I know if I was in survival mode, that thing would, like, rip me apart. Then we have SCP-2295, which is this little dude. I think this guy's actually friendly. I think what he does is he'll, like, latch onto you and heal you. And I just noticed, when you punch him, he cries! Wait, he's not doing it now. He was just doing it before. Like, look. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's crying normally. Huh, okay. Uh, then we have SCP-082. So, you look like a big troll. Bro, you look like Shrek if he was, like, bodybuilding or something. I don't know. You, you just look like Shrek. Uh, then we have SCP-1762, which is um, these little buggers. And um, I think these dudes. Yeah, they're, they're, they're really um, they're, they're really weird and not cool. This guy is just stupid looking. I, I, listen, I'm sorry, but you're just, you're just stupid looking. This is SCP-173, everyone's favorite SCP. You look at him, he does absolutely nothing. You look away, he snaps your neck and you're dead. Um, and then we have SCP-166, which is um, uh, this person. Um, they're a little interesting. They, oh wait, I forgot SCP-096. Uh, why am I, I can't, okay. SCP-096, he, he received an awesome update. I'll get to you in a second. Yeah, this is SCP-096. Um, he he got he he's pretty much the same as always. He just looks a lot better. Every time Benby updates this mod, he always looks a little bit better. But yeah, this one, um, I, I don't know too much about them. I just know that they only uh, affect males. So um, wait, actually, if they if they do, hold up. Let me go over this way, and let me spawn in one of the male guards. So let me go this way. I wonder if, like, they, like, poison or something. Actually, I'm not even gonna open up that can of worms. I'm gonna... I'm gonna move on. <laughs> we have the Nine-Tailed Fox Commander. Uh, this is the Nine-Tailed Fox Commander. Looks pretty awesome. SCP-1316, which is, uh, a little kitty! It's a little kitty cat! It's a little kitty! Um, SCP-131, which is the eyeball dudes, and I think these guys come in varieties, I'm pretty sure? Where are the rest? Okay, I don't know where they're- Oh! There they are! Hi! Hi there, little buddy! He's so cute! He's so cute! I love him! Then we have SCP-106, what Cherry is. I love his music. He's so awesome and epic and amazing. Well, where'd you guys all come from? What the flip? Then we have SCP 1048C, which is. Oh my gosh, you're like a robot bear. Yeah, these are the bears that I don't like that much because they're they're um they're loud and annoying and they're they're not fun to be around, especially when they cry like a baby. I don't. I don't know how I'm supposed to like that. Okay, let's click on some of these other ones here. 
that I don't know anything about. So we have SCP-066, which is... Oh, I love Eric's toy. Oh yeah, this is Eric's toy. Look at him go! Oh yeah, he flips around. He's amazing and I love him. Um, SCP-053, which is the little girl. Pretty much you go anywhere near her, you die. Uh, SCP-12. I think this thing literally just kills you if you go near just like the little girl. Uh, and then we just got guards, and then we have this item box. So, whatever, whatever that's for. Uh, there's also new updates in this mod where you can like go in actual SCP facilities. So, for instance, if I do function and I do facility, wait, what? Where, where is it? I, 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 I swear I have it on. Well, normally, I think I have to type it a certain way. Normally, you're able to enter the facilities. I think that's a new feature in the in this update, which is pretty cool. And if that is the case, I'm definitely going to make a video about that because I love exploring the facilities in Minecraft. I think it's really fun, really cool, and overall just something different to do. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end up today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. Do my channel, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.